so what am I doing as a seller to kind of really just do the opposite of what the buyer's uh, expecting? Yeah. So there's a lot of really great advice and demos out there. Some of the super basic things are lead out with a bang, like start with something that really captures their attention. Um, but mm-hmm. I'll, I'll go a little bit deeper into how how you should be overcoming this. So the, the first one is to not bore them, like cut out almost all your slides. Okay. The only yeah. slides you should be showing up front are slides to deepen your understanding of things that you miss out on discovery. So more of a discovery slide to help close the gaps or to cover something that you need them to understand that you're not going to show them in the demo because the demo should not be a wall to wall product tour. So a slide is a good opportunity to say, Hey, we're not going to show this to you because frankly, everybody has it but I want you to know that we have it too. We're not the odd ones out. I just don't want to waste time in the demo going through things you probably yeah. saw from all of our competitors. Can I, can I ask you real quick? Yeah. Are you that, are you that explicit about it? Do you kind of have a little bit of fun like that? Where like, Hey, I got to show you this. Like, are, like what you just narrated, is that kind of similar to how you would interact with the buyer? A hundred percent. One of my, one yeah. of my piece of advice for demos is label everything. If it's table stakes, tell them, look, I know everybody can do this. Mm. I just want you to know that we have it. I'm not spending much time here because you've seen it before. Okay. Compared to most reps where they'll, they'll show something that everybody else does and they'll act like it's the coolest feature of all time. Like I remember at Qualtrics, I had reps showing the most basic question types, the most basic display logic, acting like it's this yeah. cutting edge innovation. And you reach to the buyer, like, if you think this is cool, then your product must suck, right? Yeah. So label, label everything. And then when I'm showing things like, like, like a differentiator, I'm making sure that I'm even, I'm going as far as to say, hey, look, like, my competitors do this, but here's how we do it better. Here's why it matters for you specifically. And here's a customer story that validates that it's going to make the impact that I'm saying. And then for unique differentiators, I'm calling that it as well. So, and only we do this. And uh, this is one I'm going to spend a little bit of time on because this one is a trap for you as a seller. Because the second you say only we do this, that gives your buyer skepticism. They're thinking, well, why do only you do it? It must not be that important. You have to defend either, hey, only we do this because our engineering team is three times bigger than our closest competitor. They wish they could do it. They're trying to do it. Someday they might be able to do it. They can't yet. So I'm defending it by having more resources or I'm defending it because we're taking a completely different approach to the market. We're saying, hey, we actually view the problem you have differently than our competition. And here's why. Now you have to defend your approach to the problem. Otherwise, the whole only we do this sounds gimmicky. And it's like, well, if only you do it, why would it matter to me? Because surely if it was that important, everybody would offer it. Yeah, I label everything in a demo. Um, 